Thing. Who else but Claire Barrett? Yes, yeah, she's our test driver for the day. It's me, and I have every faith in Neil and Pete's engineering skill. But this thing is capable of doing 70 to 80 miles per hour, and it's like nothing else I've ever driven before. It's unbelievable. The throttle is up here on the steering. If you hit what you would normally consider to be the brake pedal, it's actually reverse. And the brake is actually where the accelerator is. So basically you need your head on back to front, Claire. Just doesn't bear thinking about if you get into a panic and hit the wrong thing. That's it, that's me all over the test track. Well, all I can say, Claire, is the best of British. I'll get it started up. I can't tell a lie. I really am pretty nervous. I just don't know how I'm going to react if something does go wrong. And if it does, the brakes, I'm not kidding, are next to useless. But even if the chassis performs on the test track, I'm still going to have to infiltrate Ford's European Design Centre to help Claire turn this old pram into a golden chariot fit to rip on the deadly banks of Brooklands. This week's challenge, the restoration of the Golden Ford, is going pretty well. We've managed to do all the mechanical work in double quick time, but before we rebuild her brass body, we're going to have to check she's up to taking on the treacherous banking at Brooklands. This is the first time this chassis has run in anger for probably 60 years or so, so anything can happen. With only two gears to choose from, I'm getting pretty sceptical about this car's mythical speed. However, there's only one way to find out. Change up to the top. She's a very brave girl, but unless I'm very much mistaken, it isn't half wobbling. Even though I had a Tony Blair smile pasted to my face, I was bricking it. Every time I hit 40 miles an hour, the steering just went to pot. <laughs> the back end was just kicking out all over the place. It can't be the chassis or the axles, because we fixed those, so it has to be the wheel itself. Clay, you're still alive. It's absolutely brilliant. I was trying to be sensible, but it just wants to go fast. The one main thing is this wheel, though. I could see behind me it's wobbling all over the place. It's really throwing the back end of the car out. So we're going to have to get that straightened out. So that's going to have to be done. But apart from that, she's running like a dream. She's re she is ready for...